Right, there's that pill. Awesome. There's the river axe. The main river axe. This is the main river axe here going. I think, it, yeah, it is. This is the main river axe. Goes all the way to Cheddar. Cows have been about. Can't see them. I don't know where they are. There might be some down there. And I might be able to just see some. So there are some cows about. You let one or two out. Getting closer to Western now. We're doing a big horseshoe. Shh, I was right over there earlier. Where the people are camping. I was really keen to do this today. I can see one or two people. I hope they're not teasing the cows because uh, that would not be a good idea. And whether those cows can get out, I don't know. But I'm over here and I normally walk that side of the river over there you see I'm normally walking here I'm normally walking here it's a nice walk for someone I mean I was planning to walk well not planning I, the option if the bus didn't come was to walk from home Yeah, fresh pack, and I can see some cows, but they're not up the bank, if you know what I mean. So, and I can't see many of them. I can see some now. And the gate's open, up. And I can see the boat that went up a side track. So here I am, normally over that side, now over this side. Yeah, of course that's what that is. It might be a bit bumpy, I'm trying to hold the camera still everyone. It's very difficult because the ground's very bumpy. I can see some cows, but they've gone down into a gully. Hopefully they'll stay there when I walk past. It's a bit risky to think you can walk on that. That might be very boggy. Uh, so I've had to risk coming out today, even knowing that the weather is not brilliant. Um, you know, that it's a little bit... God, that was that cow trying to get up the bank <sighs> knowing that the uh, the weather's not brilliant so it's not great for photography it's very overcast but at least it's a record because you this place is only legally open to you for five weeks there we got St Nicholas the old St Nicholas church on the hill That just about evaded the last tsunami 400 years ago. And uh, can't see Crook's Peak. It's very, like I say, even Brent Knoll was very grey today, very grey. But it's great to be able to walk here. Like I say, I can see cows ahead and I am a bit concerned. I thought they'd taken them all out. So. As long as you don't climb up the bank, are all right. Well, they've been up here. They've been up here, for sure. I don't know if I can see some people or whether that's a... Uh, uh, yeah, there are some people ahead. So, we don't really want to bump straight into a cow, but they might try and climb the bank in a minute. You can see they've been down here. Look, trundling, trundling along down there. 
Yeah, look how fresh that is. There's nothing I can do. Got to keep going, going back now. Maybe someone left the gate open. That and they got out. Now here we've got the river axe. Somewhere just round there, it branches off and there's a tributary that runs into uphill. Goes round. The main axe carries on round like that. And goes towards the Breen Sluice. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, take some photos. But there's a nice scene of the little pontoon bridge where people board their yachts and get down on the river axe with their little boats like that to board their sloops and yachts. I'll just take a picture. Well, I just passed those cows. It was a bit risky because there was a bloke and a boy with a dog and it frightened one of the cows. Now that cow came up the bank very quickly and he came straight for me, but I was just about got through the gate, but they can get through the gate anyway. Um, so although I was planning to go back that way, it could be I'd have to do a diversion. But there's barbed wire all the way along there. I probably won't do it today. Um, I, I was concerned about the cows being in there. They're not really used to humans either. They're all around that gate. Yeah, they're all around that gate. But anyway, it's a lovely, there's a little island there. There's Western Supermare. There's a picture of the boat that was um, anchored up down a little tributary. It's been there for a couple of years now and it's getting rusty. That used to be anchored up over uphill and people used to live on it. But I expect somebody's been in there now and stripped it of stuff. Anyway, it looks like this stretch here, the cows can seem to get through. I am surprised at that. And I'm just wondering if they've got away from the main herd over there. And uh, that's what I was, I was thinking, they've let some of them out. I thought for, they would have kept them in another field for now with those people going by. <sighs> I managed to walk past and be brave. I didn't video it. I should have videoed it really, shouldn't I? But they're over there, see? Oh, that one. Over and out for a minute. Look, he's going down the bank. Anyway, look, the cows are there. One's just come down the bank again. They usually follow each other. Um, they probably wouldn't stay by that gate all the time. They might even make their way in the next hour down to here and then um, go on the marshland. I mean I managed to get through them that time. I did manage to get through. I'm not sure if you're supposed to take dogs along there. Anyway. Out of pay. Um, I'm, I'm vid video. There's, of course, Breen Down up. There's Breen Down. That herd of cows would put people off a bit, mind. This had come out by the farm. Whereas I think I was hoping to come up out over there. Well, I can always turn, turn right or something. Yeah, there's two of them down the bank now. They're probably harmless, really. They probably are. I was going to walk back the same way, but I think I'll do what I said. Do the beach and keep your fingers crossed the next time you come. So this is lovely because there's no people. You know? And the, the cows can come all the way down. You can see their feet marks. They can go and trundle all over there. And... Uh, 
they got free access. I mean, people with dogs would have to be careful. <sighs> That's what worried me when I saw someone with a dog who passed them first and they had scared a cow, which could have turned on me thinking I was one of them. But uh, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at this lovely scene, everyone. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to take a picture, it's so gorgeous.